experiences with sharing the gospel. Um, some folks will bring up the ending of Mark yep. and the story in John, um, the stone. Yes. You know, what would be your response to that and the New Testament reliability and the mm-hmm. inspiration of God? Okay, for those of you that might not be familiar with this, there are a few passages in the New Testament that are that scholars don't know if they were in the original. One is the ending of Mark, which I believe is verse 16, or verse 9 to 20, maybe, of chapter 16. And another is the story of the woman caught in adultery. Uh, because it's not in the earliest manuscripts. So some of the scholars are saying, well, maybe this shouldn't be in here at all. My position on this would be, say you take those stories out. Do you lose any vital truth that isn't taught elsewhere? No. Is any of that truth in there that um, is unique? No, not really. It's, it's not. It's, Jesus doesn't want you to sin. He says, go and sin no more to the woman. At, well, he says that elsewhere too, right? Uh, and the ending of Mark uh, has new information in there that isn't taught elsewhere, like handling snakes. That's why I don't do it, because I'm not sure the ending of Mark should be in there, okay? <laughs> right? But these passages don't change whether or not Christianity is true. They are secondary and tertiary issues, and so it should not cause us any problem to say whether they're in there or not, Christianity and the truth of Christianity is unaffected. 